Google Search Console, Index Coverage, Excluded, Crawl Enamel. Let's find out what this is. Let's press on Crawl Enamel. Here, status is excluded. That means all these example URLs Google is aware of is excluded from Google's index. And the reason is to do with Crawl Enamel. To simplify what that means, let me copy the URL Search Console shows me. Let me go and visit that URL using Chrome browser. As we can see, there is 404 page not found was served to me. Let me press on F12 on my keyboard. Let's press on Network tab and let's refresh the page to see what is the status shown to that URL. So this is what you should do as well for testing purposes, for troubleshooting purposes. That URL, when request was made, as in to get that URL, status 404, page not found, we cannot get that URL. That's what the network tab shows you in this example. Therefore, crawl and Emily report shows you similar information. Here, if you press on the URL in question, go fetch as Google, as in let Google fetch that URL. I've already done that so that we don't wait around for requesting these. Fetch as Google feature in this example will not be that helpful, apart from telling you that URL, we just cannot find it. Fetch as Google mimics how Google requests a URL, as in how it crawls it. So as we can see, there is something that is not normal. That means a normal site, normal URL, when it's fetched, server response code is 200. Everything is okay. That's what it means. Think it like that. So I'm requesting a brand new URL that I know it works and Google can see. Just to show you the response code provided. In this example, status code 200. In this example, status code not found. But crawl and Emily may show um, URLs when Google trying to crawl it. Google was served perhaps 500 server error. In either case, always look at the URLs within your sitemaps to see, you know what, does Google have crawling issues? And understand the fact that crawling and indexing is two different processes. All known pages will definitely show crawl and emily URLs here. You can't really do much about it, because if the page is not found, that means you've deleted it from your website. The best practice in this scenario would be, if you do have similar content, perhaps you can utilize 301 redirection. If not, just ignore crawl and emily. For pages that serve 404 and you are aware of those pages. So you know the page is no longer on your site. You do not have similar content. That means you can't do 3 on 1 redirection. But if you do have similar content, then make sure you utilize 3 on 1 redirection. Redirecting the URL to similar content on your website. That would be the best practice. If when you're doing your tests and the server serves internal server errors, then that is to do with your web server. Usually, .htaccess file has rules that is not correct. That could be the reason for websites built on Apache servers. Apart from that, all known pages will definitely show crawl anomaly. It's to do with Google crawling. Google tries to index them and then it excludes them because it just can't understand 
as it can crawl the URL in question. Thus, it's saying, you know what, since I can't crawl it, I don't understand what's there on the URL, which means Uniform Resource Locator. HTML insights for you. URL basically means Uniform Resource Locator. That means when this is requested, there is a resource on this URL. The resource can mean many different things. It could be a HTML document. It could be a PDF document. It could be an image, because that's a URL as well. But it has a different file format. Thus, internet and computers can understand what this content is, what type of content. In normal scenario, we're looking at web pages. So index coverage report, crawl anomaly, is to do with what is being served by your server. And obviously, Googlebot, Google's user agent, web crawler is having issues when it tries to see URLs on a site. I can't tell you the best practices for fixing these because it could be for various different reasons. If you do have crawl anomaly for URLs within your sitemap, you have to fix them. Once again, thank you very much for learning with Rankia, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.